Hey Aquarius, how's it going? And welcome to your love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in an Aquarius. Welcome everyone. I hope you are all are doing well. I am so grateful that you're here. Please remember that this is a general reading, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. Please note that if you do have a person in mind that you may need to flip the roles um, as I may be picking up their energy. Also, I kindly ask if you can like, share, subscribe, <clears throat> and comment. It really would help my channel grow, and I would greatly appreciate that so I can continue doing these types of videos for you on this platform. Also, check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate, resonate with you or, <clears throat> excuse me, if you know, to get a full picture of what's going on for you. For some reason, I'm getting ton tongue tied today. So maybe y'all are having some issues with communication here, but we'll see, right? Spirit, thank you for bringing those that need messages here today. I am grateful they are here. Please provide me with guidance for Aquarius and what do they need to know in their, for their highest good and love. What do they need to know? What does Aquarius need to know, Spirit? What does Aquarius need to know for their highest good around love? What do they need to know? Okay. Let's get this party started, Aquarius. Okay, in your present position, you have justice. Crossing energy is the Ten of Cups. Then you have past issues is the Two of Swords. Immediate past is the Eight of Cups. Your thoughts, the Three of Swords. Aquarius, what's going on here? Immediate future. Four of Wands in your fears, you have judgment. How others see you is strength, your hopes, Queen of Cups, and your outcome is the Ten of Swords. Okay. Wow. So let me say that I see... I see 8-8 eight, eight here. I see 22. And what I'm starting to notice with a lot of readings right now is the synchronicity. So the divine spirit, what, how, whatever you feel or whatever you believe in, because I'm certainly not here to um, get you to believe anything you choose not to, right? So if you, whatever it is, God, divine spirit, universe, I refer to it as many different things, they're trying to send you messages here. And, you know, sometimes we want those, you know, the big red flashing lights, right, to, to get a message. It's not going to come like that. Most messages anyway don't. You know, you may be having dreams, but synchronicities seem to be coming through for many people at the time. At this time so look at angel numbers 88 and 22 there may be a message there for you you also may be seeing 10 10 on a clock um, or other you know times it could be like 203 204 it doesn't always have to be the same numbers just throwing that out there it also could be on a billboard a license plate a receipt TV, where you're seeing the same numbers over and over, and then those numbers will change, and then they'll start giving you other messages through other angel numbers, and what you can do is just Google angel number and put the number in, and it'll give you the message. All right, so let's go ahead and start clarifying. So justice is in your current energy, which tells me that you want fairness here. You want some kind of balancing of the scale uh, scales. There are so many directions this can go in. I'm just, okay, so at first I'm getting a creepy stalking, stalking situation, and I'm really hoping that's not the case, okay? Um, and I'm going to clarify each card with two cards, okay? And the reason I'm given different scenarios is because this is a collective, so depending on your situation um, so 
with the with the justice card in your current in your current situation there's a need for balance there's a need for structure it's like thought and action cause and effect okay right you you need balance negative positive um there's a call for harmony here but you need to be brutally honest with yourself because with the ten of cups it's like you're struggling to achieve the relationship you want and i'm curious to see if the moon card is going to come out here or not because that will tell me some other things so let's go ahead and get started but there's there's many different scenarios here so let's see what we get because some of you may just be you know when you get into a relationship you jump the gun and you get so emotionally invested so quick that you're like wanting to talk about the future and it scares people off and some of that is just insecurity from childhood based on the eight of cups so again I say these things because there's a reason I intuitively feel I need to say something. Um, so let's get started and let's see where we go. Spirit, please give me two cards as to why the Justice card is here. Why is the Justice card here for Aquarius? Why is the Justice card here for Aquarius? And again, I'm just trying to why is the justice card here for aquarius please and thank you one more two of cups and the chariot yeah you want to move towards something quickly you want a commitment here remember how i just said moving too fast somebody is trying to move too fast into something and Force something into place when it's not yet ready because with the ten of cups in your challenge position it's given me that and maybe this person's doing it to you and it's it's throwing you off and it's turning you off I'm just gonna throw that out there but it's like somebody wants to jump with both feet in and it's like okay hang on we haven't even like you know, I haven't even, we haven't even gone on the first date or it's something so new perhaps that it's like, okay, like don't start talking about commitment. Like, so it's, it's pretty much exactly what I said. I'm telling you if the moon card comes out for this, I'm just saying it's, I'm just gonna, but somebody is moving, really move moving really fast to wanting a commitment now the chariot talks about balance too okay and by someone wanting to a commitment so fast it's going to throw stuff off balance you won't get balance here all right spirit please tell me why the ten of cups is here why is the ten of cups here spirit why is the ten of cups here spirit why is the ten of cups here for Aquarius the Emperor and the strength card okay so both major arcanas move. I'm sorry I'm just trying to get y'all to see the cards okay so with the Emperor and the strength somebody is wanting to control a situation. This is driving me crazy. Okay, you have the Emperor. When the Emperor doesn't have his Empress, he can be a real... What's the word? Um, I wasn't going to say a nice word, but I'll just say an asshole. And it, you know, male or female, okay? Just throwing that out there. Tara doesn't have a gender here okay but it's like i'm getting a strong sense of insecurity for some reason and i i feel like it's stemming from childhood okay like from when you were a child or from your family roots here 
I'm just getting that strong vibe. And it's not for everybody, but it's like, stop trying, have the strength to control yourself here. Or this person needs the strength to control themselves, okay? All right, so for the Two of Swords, Spirit, please tell me why the Two of Swords is here. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. That's a lot of cutting energy. That is a lot of... Okay, so either this person is spying on you, like I said earlier, creepy kind of stalkish, and like I said, I hope it's not like a dangerous kind of stalkish. It could be though, because with these cards and the negativity, it could be. Let me light some sage. Hold on just a second, because the energy is starting to get heavy. And that bothers me. Hold on. Okay, well... Hang tight because that lighter won't work. Let's see if I have another one. Sorry, Aquarius. Hang tight. Okay, sorry about that. Let me light some sage real quick. And so if you see smoke, that's what it is. I'm just trying to clear the energy here and get back grounded because this is starting to get a little heavy. If you feel like someone's stalking you, you, you really need to take the necessary precautions. I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay. I'm just trying to cleanse the area and get grounded. So give me just a second. Spirit, please provide me guidance, clarity, clear the space of any negativity, please. All right. Somebody could be spying on you. With the Five of Swords, okay, it talks about challenges you've overcome and the, the wisdom and strength you've, that you've received from these challenges. And I really feel like you're, you're choosing to walk away from this. You're choosing to surrender. I feel like you've battled a lot. There could be a lack of communication. And I think the lack of com communication is more from a perspective of like somebody is not on the same page like somebody is way far off in left field and with the page of sword it's like somebody's just like spying on you this is a lot of cutting and i just feel like deceptive energy that's just the feeling i get for some of you Some of you may feel like, here I go, I failed again. Okay, don't, don't do that. All right. You know, I, I'm getting the... It's like, the, the other thing I'm getting is, it's like the balance you seek... From the past because this is your foundation okay this is the past issue but the foundation of this it's 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 like you're coming to a break breaking point and it could be that it was a prior setback of some sort it could be that this person's hard to talk to 
but for several of you it is about past relationships and the imbalance and like a repetitive cycle or something like that so let's keep going so the eight of cups in your immediate future immediate i'm sorry immediate past i can't talk today i, I told y'all my communications like bleh, bleh, bleh. um in the immediate past okay again i'm getting like the feeling like a situation from prior relationships even goes back to childhood like i said it's like it's shaped who you are it also could be that you've removed yourself from a very difficult situation that maybe reminded you of your childhood or from your past is what the energy i'm getting and some of you are just trying to escape something without really addressing it okay and i get that with the judgment too and we'll, we'll get there okay Spirit, please give me two cards clarifying the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Perhaps some of you are leaving behind some type of financial security. I don't know that. And with the moon in that, you know, with the moon and the eight of cups, it's like they, there could just be a delusion with this scenario. For some of you, there's a secret, like there is a secret. It's like there's something about a secret life. I'm just getting a strong urge with that. All right. Hmm. Is there something from your past you don't want to face so you're walking away? That might be for some of you. Okay, Spirit, please give me two cards as to why the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is in your thoughts position, which is, you know, you're devastated. You're heartbroken. It's Three Swords in your heart. It's piercing. Spirit, please tell me why there are two... I'm sorry. Why the Three of Swords is here? Why is I'm thinking Two of Pentacles? Okay. It's all good. Like I said, my words, I can't find words right now. <laughs> so, Spirit, please tell me and give me guidance as to why the Three of Swords is here. Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit? King of Wands and the Hangman. You're, it's like you've been stuck in limbo. You've been stuck. This person like had you in limbo. Now, if you were married to this person, because I do get the feeling with the justice card in the current position and the 10 and the final outcome some of you are getting a divorce separated breaking up clearly and if anybody's gonna have an affair it's typically the king of wands because he's passionate he's he's very passionate flirty he can be cocky too, but this person's had you stuck. Is it because they tell you what they want to hear, male, female? Like, you're heartbroken here.
All right, Spirit, please tell me about the Four of Wands is here. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here for Aquarius? Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Four of Wands, Four of Wands, Four of Wands. The Sun and the Four of Wands. Oh. Wow, something good is coming in for you. I mean, real good. Okay, and Four of Wands talks about months at the latest. Something good coming in. I mean, you have Four of Wands clarified by the Four of Wands and the Sun. The Sun's the happiest card in the deck. Something really good. Good news is on the way. It's coming. I also get a sense that it's probably good that you go out with friends and celebrate, okay, or do something with your friends to get out. Maybe somebody will be sending you an invitation to go to a wedding, um, a Chris somewhere. You need to get out is what I'm getting for some of you, okay? It's talking about shining the light of truth on this situation. It's like face your fears of the loss. Because once you start to heal and learn to love yourself, and this is in the immediate future position. Like I said, a few months, the latest. I mean, wow. That, that's... You can't see it now because all you see is this darkness right now. Look how bright these cards are. Look. Look how bright. Look at the yellow, which signifies strength. Happiness. I mean... I don't feel like there's a reunion here. I don't. And if there is, it's just going to go back to the way it was. Okay? So, judgment. And again, that's just the energy I'm getting. So, I'm going to call it like it is. Spirit, please give me two cards on the clarity for the judgment. Give me two cards for judgment. Give me two cards for judgment. Why is judgment here for Aquarius? Why is judgment here for Aquarius? Why is judgment here for Aquarius? Four of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah. It's like you can run, but you can't hide. It's like, are you hearing the call from Arch Archangel Gabriel? Okay. He is, he is sounding his trumpet. These people are right, getting raised from the graves to be judged. It's like, are you hearing the call but ignoring it? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. It's all for your highest good. It's all for your highest good and a wish fulfillment here. There's a reason this is happening even though you can't see it. It's like you're just stuck. The universe wants to bring you in something very beautiful here. To me, this symbolizes the Ace of Cups on this card. Because you have these three cups that are dull and similar where you have this rainbow going into this cup with... With the eighth, Ace of Cups, it's like the Holy Grail. It's the abundance of love, happiness, you know, material. It, it, it's an abundance all around, not just on one certain thing. And it's like the universe trying to say, make the call, get it done. The universe will fulfill your Nine of Cups. Because this is in your fierce position. You were scared. You won't find happiness again. And you're stuck on what to do. You're ignoring the call here. And I'm going to tell you, 
if you ignore the call for too long, the tower, the universe will come in and throw you a tower. Because it's going to do it for your highest good. If you're not going to make a move, the universe will. Spirit, please tell me why the strength card is here. Please tell me why the strength card is here, Spirit. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here, Spirit? Queen of Swords and the Wheel. You need to have the strength, the courage, and be brave. You need to step in Queen of Swords energy, which she doesn't put up with any shit. You see her face in this way, which is leaving this shit behind and moving forward, okay, to brighter days. And once she does that, guess what? Now the wheel starts turning. The Wheel of Fortune is, you know... Now we have 10, 10, and we had another 10. Oh, yeah. So we had the 10 of cups, the 10, and 10. That's, that's a huge message for you all. So look up angel numbers 10, 10, and 10, 10, 10. Okay? Because this isn't how others see you. You have strong strength. But I'm getting the strong energy here. Once you stand in to this queen of swords energy... Because the Queen of Swords will protect herself. You come and screw with her, she will lift up that sword. She will not hesitate. She will not hesitate. She doesn't have any time spending time alone with herself. She will preoccupy herself. Once you get the strength to do this, the wheel will start turning because the Wheel of Fortune is... It talks about fated, divinely fated, and in divine timing. The wheel will start moving. It won't be stuck anymore. Okay, Queen of Cups in your hopes. Queen of Cups in your hopes. Queen of Cups in your hopes. Spirit, please tell me why the... Queen of Cups is here. Please tell me why the Queen of Cups is here. Please tell me why the Queen of Cups is here. The Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. Your hopes is, is, is a commitment here. A happy home, a happy family, a happy life. The emotional balance here with the Queen of Cups is a motherly figure. Nurturing, loving. You have a lot of major arcanas here. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is, is abundance, not just materially, okay. But you have the happy home. The emotional nurturing support. It's like, listen to your inner voice. There could even be somebody that you are confiding in and speaking to, whether it be a mentor, a friend, a counselor. But you want to be happy. You want. You want it all. You want the family, the spouse, the job, all of it. And you can have it. I don't think this is the person. As a matter of fact, I'm getting a strong held to the no for this. Okay? Like I said, I'm just going to lay, lay it out how I get it because I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Ten of Swords. Stop fighting your inner self of justifying why to stay. When you know deep down, no doubt, you know what you have to do. No doubt. Spirit, please tell me why the Ten of Swords is here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? We have justice. So we started with justice. We're ending with justice. The devil. I can't make this shit up. There is definitely an ending, because 10 means finality in, in tarot, okay? Justice will be served here. 
to this toxic person. I also feel like this person is obsessive, has to potentially even um, toxic behaviors, addictions. Okay, person, place, or thing, right? Third party, person, place, or thing. Drugs, sex, whatever. But this is, this is two major arcanas. Justice will be served. And the universe. To me, this is a happy card. You know why? Because it talks about all the shit you went through and the accomplishment that you made it through all of this bullshit. Heartache. When I see the Ten of Swords, I try to look at the positive for every single card. Even though it's not the most, you know, the best card. It's a negative card. This is a negative card for an outcome. But holy shit, look at this as, you know what? Pat yourself on the back and say, congratulations, I did it. I made it through all of this shit and I got back up standing. Because I refused for somebody to tear me down. The universe will give me justice. You don't need to take justice in your own hands. The universe will take care of it. And you are ending this toxic, whatever this was, the obsessiveness, the, the fears. This is fears. Like, justice will be served. Have no fear. Have no fear. Rise up. Rise up. Whew. That was a really... That was intense. Okay. I'm going to pull three quick cards from the Hidden Oracle. I'm going to pull you two Wisdom of the Oracle cards, okay? Spirit, what? Three message. Okay. I remember the detail. I remember every detail of that day. And maybe that's you. Maybe you remember every detail of that day. Maybe you found out or what have you. Maybe you caught somebody doing something. Oh, and there's two more cards. I love you. Oh, never mind. There's more. We both know I am not the one for you. I don't react when people mention you. This speaks so loud to me. We both know I'm not the one for you. This is not the person for you. Just because you love someone doesn't mean you stay with them. Period. Okay. The universe will give you something better. We all have free will. We all have lessons to learn while we're here. Just remember that. Spirit, please give me two cards for Aquarius. Please give me two cards for Aquarius. Give me two. Oop. Okay. Well, I got it. Fork in the road, building blocks. Absolutely, fork in the road. You need to make a decision. Fork in the road is 13. Okay, and 28, so these might mean something to you. Fork on the road, a decision's going to have to be made, and building blocks. Okay, you are your own foundation here. I'm going to read these real quick. Thirteen. Fork in the road. Time to make a decision. Consider the consequences as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Every choice has a consequence. You, you've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroad. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. You know, when I look at that card, it's like, you know, there's one of two paths, paths to take. One will take you a lot longer to get to the happiest you want, to the happiness you want. Okay, so 28 building blocks. 
strong foundation a beautiful work in progress yes Aquarius you are a beautiful work in progress you have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life this is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon your work your relationships and your very being are underwritten by your values ethic morals and core beliefs are they still true for you will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. Okay, Aquarius, if this resonated, please like and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to give these, um, do these videos for you all on YouTube. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Remember to keep standing in your power, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.